Hey guys, it's Steven here. This video is about the best Charles Schwab index ETF with the highest return. There is one Charles Schwab index ETF that outperformed the rest in the past 10 years. This index ETF has provided a staggering 18% annualized return since its inception in 2009, 19.46% annualized return over the past 10 years, and 24.32% analyzed return over the past five years. So which index ETF is it? It is the Swab US Large Cap Growth ETF, SCHG, with an expense ratio of 0.04% and a current distribution yield of 0.4%. If you had invested $10,000 in SCHG 10 years ago, it will be worth a whopping $59,234 today which is almost a 600% increase from your initial investment. The best three month return was from March 31st of 2020 to June 30th of 2020 that provided a 27.7% return. And worst three month return was from September 20th of 2018 to December 31st of 2018 at a negative 15.5%. From the returns that SCHGS provided, this is the best Charles Schwab index ETF. How did SCHD do so well? Let's look at what the fund strategy is that allowed it to be successful, the portfolio holdings for which companies are included in SCHG, and I'll explain the reasoning why I ironically did not include this in my best 5 Charles Schwab Index Fund and ETF video. If this is the type of content you like, be sure to hit that like button for that YouTube algorithm and it builds my self esteem. And subscribe. Let's get right into it with the Swab US Large Cap Growth ETF SCHG's fund strategy. The investment seeks to track as closely as possible before fees and expense the total return of the Dow Jones US Large Cap Growth Total Market Index. The Dow Jones US Large Cap Market Index includes components rank 1 to 750 by full market capitalization and that are classified as growth based on a number of factors. Growth typically refers to a lot of technology companies which we will see next in the portfolio holdings. SCHD consists of a total of 231 holdings, traditionally categorized with the majority of 42.2% in information technology making up almost half of all holdings, 17% in communication services, about 15% in consumer discretionary, 12% in healthcare, and other sectors with 3% or less. We see the top 10 holdings include 12% in Apple, 11% in Microsoft, about 7.5% in Amazon, 4.5% in Facebook, and just over 4% in each Google or Alphabet. And rounding out the top 10 holdings, Nvidia and Tesla at just under 3% and United Health Group and Visa at just under 2%. All these top 10 holdings combined make up over 53% of the total holdings. The historic return of the fund is categorized as above average and historic risk is average. Investment style is of course large cap growth and that brings us into why I did not include this ETF in the best 5 Charles Schwab index fund and ETF list. To understand why, we have to understand the difference between growth and value stocks and historical performance. Growth stocks or companies are considered to have a good chance for considerable expansion in the future, either because they have a product or a line of products that are expected to sell well or because they appear to run better than many of their competitors and thus predicted to gain an edge on them in the market. Value stocks are usually larger, more well-established companies that are trading below the price that analysts feel the stock is worth, depending upon the financial ratio or benchmark that is being compared to. Value investing is more fundamental investing and is what made legendary investors Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger wealthy household names for investing. Value stocks also tend to outperform during bear markets and economic recessions, while growth stocks tend to excel during bull markets or periods of economic expansion which is what has happened in the past 10 years and allowed SCHG, a large cap growth stock, to provide a staggering 18% annualized return since its inception in 2009, 19.46% annualized return over the past 10 years 
and 24.3% annualized return over the past five years. That does not mean these returns will continue. A study looking at the performance of growth in value stocks over a 25 year period from 1990 to the end of 2014 found large cap value stocks providing an average annual return three quarters of a percent greater than the annual return of large cap growth stocks. And if you look further back historically and with the longer time horizon, value stocks tend to very slightly outperform growth stocks. However, if you look at shorter time horizons, there are examples that growth stocks can and do outperform value stocks. The answer of value or growth is not black and white. Ultimately, the decision to invest in growth or value is left to an individual investor's preference, as well as your own risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon. If you have a long time horizon and you're interested in growth index funds or ETFs, or want a heavier concentration in tech companies, consider adding the Swab US Large Cap Growth ETF SCHG to your index portfolio. It has provided fantastic returns in the past 10 years. Historical performance is no guarantee of future performance. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what you guys think and comment down below what your favorite index fund or ETF is. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for more videos delivered to you. Have a great one.